Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Okay, so firstly, apologies. I'm about two days behind when it comes to these particular rankings videos. It's very unusual for me to be that way, but a lot's been going on in my personal life and, of course, with other news in boxing, which have been overshadowing everything else. Obviously, Conor Ben and what have you else. Anyway, so the WBC have now released their new rankings for the month of October. Of course, in this video, we'll talk about the heavyweight division. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you are subscribed as and when the new rankings are released. I will do videos on them. So it's great because we get to talk about five does that I don't usually talk about, which is great. And of course, you get to learn a little bit, hopefully, something that you didn't know beforehand when it comes to these ranking videos. So make sure you are subscribed. Who else here on YouTube does it? Nobody. Or at least not as good as well. I do, right? Subscribe. Anyway, so the top 15, go through them, see what fights recently happened, what fights are coming up, and then we'll have a look and see what's what. Okay, so Tyson Fury is a WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Number one, Deontay Wilder. Number two, Andy Ruiz Jr. Number three, Frank Sanchez. Number four, Arsene Beck Makhmadov. Number five, Robert Hellenius. Number six, Anthony Joshua. Number seven, Dillian White. Number eight, Otto Wallin. Number nine, Martin Bacoli. Number 10, San Kosobuski. Number 11, Joseph Parker, fresh insert. Number 12, Luis Ortiz. Number 13, Michael Hunter. Number 14, Derek Chisora. And number 15, Philip Herkovich. So that is the top 15 for the WBC in the heavyweight division for the month of October. Dropped out this month is FA Jagba. FA Jagba was number 15 last month. Now he's dropped out. But of course, the fresh insert is Joseph Parker in at number 11. Now, FA Jagba, before we move on to uh, Joseph Parker, the fresh insert, he did fight only a few weeks ago. He defeated some Hungarian fellow who I forgot his name. He had like 14 wins, three defeats. However, of course, this was on a top rank show, if I remember rightly. And FA Jagba stopped him in two rounds. But he gets dropped out of the top 15. I don't know why, but that's the decision. So back into Joseph Parker, number 11. Of course, last time out, he got knocked out by Joe Joyce. Was that round number 11, if I remember rightly, wasn't it? Did they rank him at number 11 as a way to say, we'll rank you, but we're going to poke you in the eye by giving you the 11th position? Hmm. Anyway, of course, Joseph Parker, he lost by knockout to Joe Joyce. Even though he was dropped out of the WBC rankings not so long ago, I'm presuming it's because he was fighting for the WBO mandatory position interim title, so WBC dropped him. Now he's not in contention for the WBO mandatory or interim title. Now he's eligible to be ranked back into the WBC. I'm presuming that's why they've done it. Of course, this was his first loss ever since he lost to Dillian White. So he's been on a bit of a winning streak, albeit not as active as um, a lot of us would like. And, and he did give a decent account of himself at times against Joe Joyce. Either way, he's in at number 11. It's going to be interesting to see when he comes back, if he's all healed up. Obviously, he's going to be serving some kind of suspension now because he got knocked out. Okay, so there will be a period where he's not allowed to spar, not allowed to fight, all that kind of stuff. So I'd be interested to, to see what it is that Ben Shalom, Boxer, Sky Sports, do with Joseph Parker coming back. Me, personally, I'd like to see him fight Martin Bacoli. That's just me, okay? Anyway, so that is Joseph Parker. Robert Hellenius is down to number five. He was number four, now he's number five. Of course, he's going to be taking on Deontay Wilder this weekend as a part of the WBC's PBC tournament four-man tournament Andrews Jr. versus Luis Ortiz Deontay Wilder versus Rob Hellenius all right all four of them PBC fighters right what can you do and the buyers with the WBC but I presume that Deontay Wilder is going to win that fight probably by knockout you would imagine strange things have happened hey great division of course but to drop him I don't know personally I don't think he should be that high anyway but again that's just my opinion but moved into the number four position it's Arsene Bek Makhmadov. Of course, he defeated Carlos Takem on points not so long ago. Makhmadov, I really rate him. I like him a lot. Um, I'd love to see him take on Joe Joyce. I'd love to see that fight. I really would. That's a, that's a fight where you know somebody's going to go to sleep. That's just two guys who ain't going to take a backward step. Yes, please, give me Arsene Bek Makhmadov versus Joe Joyce. Yes, please. Um... Derek Chisora is number 14, so even though he has been dropped down a position, he's still in within the top 15. So Tyson Fury, if rumours are correct, he's going to be fighting him on December the 3rd, then 
he's within the top 15, so it can be sanctioned by the WBC. If you notice, Manuel Char is not in the top 15. So if Tyson Fury suddenly announces Manuel Char, but he's not in the top 15, so he's not allowed to, right? Will the WBC do some kind of favours? Probably, they've done that kind of thing before. Not for Fury, but they have done it for Wilder and whatever else, okay? Now, when it comes to these particular rankings, is it, are they good, top 15? They're okay. Now, before anybody says, Usyk, why is he not there? Well, he's champion for other sanctioned bodies. And Joe Joyce, he's WBO mandatory. WBC, uh, sorry, WBO interim um, world heavyweight champion. So he's not gonna be ranked in WBC. Daniel Dubois, he's WBA regular World Heavyweight Champion. So again, he won't be ranked here either. Okay. But of course, there will be some other fighters out there that you think that maybe they should be in this top 15 who aren't. That's always going to be the way. Nobody is ever, ever going to agree on a top 15 from 1 to 15. They're not. But I think it's overall it's decent. It's okay. It is. Now, it is going to be interesting to see what number six Anthony Joshua does next. Apparently, he's still going to be coming out on December the 17th. Apparently he's requested a small, a smaller venue, a small fight away from the stadiums, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see if firstly that's true and secondly who it is that he's meant to be fighting. I have heard the name of Chris Ariola, so apparently that's been dismissed. Thankfully, don't want to be seeing that fight. I'd like to see Anthony Joshua take on number eight, Otto Wallin, to be honest. Why not? Number seven, Dylan White. He's meant to be fighting at the end or I think it's the last week of November, maybe first week of um, sorry, last week of November, maybe first week of December. I think the front runner of what I'm hearing, this is not inside information, um, I haven't spoken to Dylan about his next opponent, but Jermaine Franklin appears to be the front runner, undefeated American. So interesting, of course. Um, Dylan White is coming off a knockout loss, so whoever's going to fight, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, other than that, no real fights have been made. Number 13, Michael Hunter. Of course, that fight with uh, Huey Fury for the WBA mandatory position or mandatory for the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship, of course. Now that fight isn't going to happen. Huey Fury has long COVID. So Michael Hunter is now looking for an opponent. A rematch with Mike Bacoli. That would be interesting. Of course, he's on Boxer Sky Sports. Um, if he's going to go down the WBC route, I'll be interested. Why not make Michael Hunter versus Zan Kosobuski? Or... Michael Hunter versus Otto Wallin or Makhmadov. Why not? Again, that should be, I would say, simple to make with Michael Hunter and Artemis Makhmadov. Michael Hunter, he's a Sky Sports boxer fighter. Artemis Makhmadov is a top-ranked fighter. Of course, that's on uh, ESPN. But they also have a deal with Sky Sports as well for UK broadcasting. So maybe Bob Arum, Ben Shalom, they can get together, make that fight. Why not? Let's see... If one of these can justify being in the top 15, why not? Be an interesting fight. So anyway, that is the top 15 for the month of October for the WBC. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch your next video.